welcome back folks this is your friend ashwin karkera back again after a very very long time i know it's been ages after i've put my arunachal and assam vlogs so it's uh, the month of october and it's a saturday we are on a four day trip to kanyakumari and rameshwaram so we've started from bangalore at around 6:30 currently on the electronic city flyover and with me are my son dhruv and my wife kavita and we are going to be joined by uh, another person called ranjini aunty she is my mother in law sister so since this is a temple run uh, she also wanted to join us so yeah here we are after a long time uh, on the electronic city flyover and we got to pick her up uh, just where the flyover ends and uh, let's see how these roads are I've, i've never crossed salem i've been on this road but i've never gone past salem so the route we are taking is um, uh, it's krishnagiri dharmapuri salem madurai and then to kanyakumari that will be day 1 then we'll stay overnight in kanyakumari uh next day leave for rameshwaram and then two nights stay in rameshwaram and on the third or other fourth day we'll return back so i don't know how many vlogs i'm going to make maybe it's going to be just in one i'll cover everything in one or maybe two not more than that so i'm excited we all are hope you are too Keep watching. So we are still on NH forty four. We just crossed Dharmapuri, and since morning we have covered around one hundred and fifty kilometers. And the time taken is three hours seventeen minutes. I have never travelled so slow on any NH any time, and that's because a lot of road work is going between Bangalore and Krishnagiri. So anyone who's going to come by this road, either leave very early or be prepared for a lot of traffic because of these diversions. Uh, this is the same road that people take to go to Chennai. So if anyone's going to Chennai by this road at least you have an option. From Bangalore you could take the Kolar road, go up to Vellore and then join this road. That is much better. But people who are going towards Salem, Madurai, you have no other option. You have to take this road. I mean yes there is other option but it's a long route. Anyways, uh I was hoping that we'll reach Kanyakumari by around 4:00 o'clock. doesn't seem so now uh, we wanted to really watch that sunset let's hope we can make it yeah keep watching guys look at this another traffic jam so this is what has been happening with us from the time we've left bangalore everywhere there is some of the other road work going on and it takes minimum of 15 minutes to cross a stretch like this it's it's really frustrating and these used to be good roads earlier So we've reached Salem. We just crossed Salem, in fact, and Kanyakumari is almost 475 kilometers from here. We've covered 210 kilometers, and in four and a half hours. Very slow going, but hopefully 
it should be good now and look at this view i mean if you get these kind of views you're really gonna enjoy the drive wow biryani and uh, rice thali because it's good it was tasty so this place is just 1.5 kilometers from the main road so look for karur town and uh, yeah you should there are a lot of places actually but this one had the best rating so we came over here uh, so probably yeah, you can try it out if you are anywhere around karur town folks so we've reached madurai but we are not going inside madurai because we are going to visit the temple minakshi temple on our way back so we have to take a right and stick to nh44 and now madurai is around three and a half hours from here it's 3 pm so ideally 6 6 30 is when we'll reach but we are going to miss the sunset i think so and anyways it's too cloudy today so let's see let's hope we get to see the sunset fingers crossed but uh, again roads still good Around 160 kilometers away from Kanyakumari, 
and we've been hit by real heavy rains. The first heavy rains of the day. It's been overcast, there's been a lot of thunder, lightning and finally the rains. So the rains are going to slow us down even more. But it's, it's beautiful. Absolutely fantastic weather. Okay, so guys, we are just about to reach uh, Tirunul Valley and we stopped at one place. Uh, it was really beautiful with all the windmills around and uh, a lot of thunder and lightning happening. So we took some drone shots. I hope I can show it to you. Uh, and at that very moment, precise moment, there was thunder and lightning. So it's really going to be awesome. This is, this is a fun drive. So we are an hour away from Kanyakumari now, around uh, 55 kilometers. And just just look at this view. The mountains, there are there's a whole lot of mountain range over here. Sorry, it got covered by all these shrubs here. But this scene is just beautiful. There's a mountain range, and behind that you can see all those clouds. Sorry, you can't see them now. Just give me a moment. I hope we can get it in the open. Ah, there you go. There you go. Okay, I don't know if my GoPro is able to capture this, but this is the view I was talking about. What you see here is an entire mountain ridge and the clouds are behind it. It's just absolutely beautiful. seeing something that I've never seen earlier. This place is overrun with windmills. 
I mean, there must be at least thousands of them. Thousands. It's literally overrun. And this is within the town. It's not an open place where no one, no one is around. It seems like it's in the middle of a town. Wow. And we are like 30 or probably 28 kilometers from that sunset point in Kanyakumari. Okay. So, we are running against time here. I've checked on the internet. The official sunset time in Kanyakumari today is 6.09 p.m. And according to Google Maps, our ETA is 6.06. .06. So, I don't know if we're going to get to see it or not. But we are certainly trying. At least if we reach by 6 p.m., we'll have some time to park the car and see the sunset. But again, this place is weird. It's windmills and windmills everywhere. I mean, this is one of the most unique places in India. Just have a look. They're everywhere. <laughs> Guys, so our race against time, we won it. We have reached the sunset point at 5.55 p.m. And just have a look at this. Kavi, where do we have to go, right? Oh my God. Wait, hold on. Fuse, yeah. ah, right, 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 and and just for your information, this is the southernmost tip of India. And then, oh god, oh god, no, it's the clouds, the clouds have defeated us. Wow, but look at this place. <laughs> Where here are you? Yeah, just park somewhere here. So this is some kind of a anti-climax now. Because we reached on time, we can see the sun behind the clouds. Let's see. So even though we made it on time, we couldn't see the sunset. But the view is good. Have a look. So that's it guys. Uh, we are leaving this place now. We are going to the hotel. Uh, our hotel is Hotel Sealand. And uh, it's a very good ocean facing sweet and it's getting dark now so sun played hide and seek we couldn't see anything so now let's go